Hi, this is Dave with NTI Online, and today I'm going to walk you through troubleshooting a non-cooling call from your GF200. Now, if you have a GF200 and it's a heating or cooling call and the furnace blower will not start, uh, check the link in the description for troubleshooting for a furnace blower will not start. This video is specifically for the blower runs, but you get no cooling or the compressor outside is not turning on. The first thing you're going to want to do is move to the low voltage terminal strip. We're going to disconnect the wires from that strip and we're going to jump her in a call and then we're going to verify that the GF200 controller on the right hand side here sees that demand. I'm going to pause the video for a second and zoom in on the wiring so you can see what I'm doing. Once you've turned off the power to the appliance, I want you to disconnect all the low voltage wiring to this terminal strip. Start by disconnecting the 24 volts, pull it to one side, and then we're going to remove the remaining demands just to ensure that the control only sees what we want it to see. It helps to take a photograph of this before you start, just in case you're going to have trouble putting it back together. Now that you've removed those wires, we're going to take a jumper wire, jump in to 24 volts hot, make sure that makes connection, and we're going to jump her up to Y1 or Y2. It doesn't matter. Use the connection that's being used in your system. Now that you've jumpered the demand, we're going to look at the GF150 controller and verify the control sees that demand. To do that, there'll be a photo on the screen and you'll see there's four lights along this top strip of the controller. Those four lights indicate whether it's a heating, cooling, cooling to, or ventilation call. Make sure that whichever call you jump here, the corresponding light on the control turns on and registers that, that demand. So now that we've verified that the GF150 or GF200 controller does register the demand, turn the power off again. We're going to reconnect 24 volts hot. Screw that down tightly so you've got a good connection. Also jumper Y2 or Y1, whichever call you're using. Make sure that's secure. You can leave the remaining wires disconnected for the time being, just so that they don't interfere with our testing. The next step is going to be, and just for the purpose of testing, we're gonna place a jumper from what the wire that used to be on YC, and we're gonna jumper that down to our common connection down here. What that is going to do is bypass the controller's control of this circuit. And the reason the GF200 has this in the first place, if for some reason this unit is running and the furnace blower fails to perform adequately, what can happen is the water coil that's in the top of this can actually be frozen by the air conditioning. What YC does is it allows the GF150 controller to break the circuit and shut the compressor off in the event the fan is not performing to specs. That can happen because there's not enough airflow due to a restricted or clogged filter, restricted ducting on the supply or return side, or if for some reason the A coil has become frozen over or the fan itself is just not performing. Once you've jumpered YC to common, turn the unit back on, verify on your controller again that you do have a demand and the control knows that, and then see if your compressor works. If your compressor now starts and runs, that means that the reason it stopped working was that the GF150 control shut the compressor off because it doesn't like the way the fan is performing. And most commonly, that is due to over revving from dirty filters, uh, restrictive duct work, or something like that. If your compressor still does not turn on, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your voltmeter. You're gonna set it to AC volts and you want to measure for voltage between your Y contact, and this Y contact should have a second wire that goes out to the compressor. 
And you're going to measure between these two and verify that you have 24 volts between your Y contact and common. If you have it on the GF200 itself, go out to the compressor and measure across the two wires and make sure that you have 24 volts at the compressor. If you have a break in the wiring, you'll need to fix that. If you have 24 volts at your compressor, consult with your compressor manufacturer's instructions on how to troubleshoot a failure for it to turn on. And that concludes troubleshooting a failure to cool with the GF200 when the furnace blower is working. If you have any questions, please call our tech support at 800-688-2575.